from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. So here's something that we don't show you often, but it's the Storm Prediction Center's excessive rainfall outlook, and it's because we really don't get these but a couple of times a year. But what you can see, this area that's highlighted in the red is included in that moderate category. So what that means is there's a 40% chance that flash flooding can occur from any point inside of this red cone. So all of these folks uh, that are included here, that's all of Anne Arundel County, Howard County, Baltimore City, as well as portions of the county stretching into Southern Carroll and Harford counties. You really want to be weather aware as we head through the overnight hours, as there is a very significant potential for some flash flooding. That's why the National Weather Service has already issued a flood watch that encompasses all of those communities and then some. So here's the setup and you can see this warm front lifting through the area, sliding to the east. There's also a short wave, a cold front that's going to be sliding as well. And as those two collide, that's really going to kick up the moisture content. It's also going to kick up the lift and that means that we're going to see some pretty heavy rain start to move into the area as we head into the overnight hours. So the rain chance is there for the next few hours. It's going to be lighter showers at first, but as we get past midnight, that's whenever the rain chances increase and that's also when our precip rates are going to increase and some of these thunderstorms are going to have the ability to put down one to two inches of rain per hour. So that's why we're looking at the potential for some very impressive rain totals as we head through the overnight at 10 o'clock. Still looking at just some isolated shower opportunities, but notice how that moisture increases through the overnight and it's going to continue to build through Saturday morning. Uh, looking nice out in Annapolis right now. Uh, actually, lots of sunshine coming through the clouds. 82 degrees. We're looking at a wind out of the southeast at 10 miles per hour. Still a little muggy out there as those dew points are in the low 70s. And that's the story across most of the state, essentially uniformly in the 80s. And it will gradually fall into the 70s as we head through the overnight hours. I know lots of folks are stepping out tonight, Friday. You're not going to let me stop you from going to the casino or going to your favorite watering hole. Just be aware that if you were going to want to try to avoid the the heaviest rain probably want to call it a night by around one o'clock and get on home morning numbers in the upper 60s low 70s and we're not going to see a massive warm up through the day tomorrow because cloud cover and rain and we're going to see lots of these little purple spots on the map and that's where that rain is going to be coming down one two two and a half inches per hour so this is going to be a super soaker through the morning once we get to eight o'clock i think that we'll start to see the rain pushing onto the eastern shore and then after that we're looking at lighter showers that are still going to be hit or miss throughout the afternoon but i do expect us to dry out five, six o'clock and see some breaks in the clouds. Winds coming out of the north. And it's actually going to feel pretty good outside of uh, the rain totals have been fluctuating, but I'm expecting one to three inches widespread four to six possible with this system. And then we're looking at all of that energy pushing on off towards the south and east northeasterly flow coming in for your Saturday, and that's going to equal some uh, cooler time. And then Sunday's forecast is going to be fantastic. We're going to struggle to get into the lower 80s, and then we're going to hang out in the mid 80s as you head back to work on Monday. Hot and humid for your Tuesday as we hit 93, and then we're looking out of the rain chance on Wednesday. We'll be right back.